Hello beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are here with a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see what Spirit has in store for us at this time. Look at this. Okay, Libra. Libra, you are feeling as you want to learn more about something or someone in your love life. You feel as though you don't have all the answers. You are also longing for someone possibly from the past or a time when you were happier and you felt more content. The Six of Water, that is Scorpio energy. So Scorpio is very intense. So you're missing somebody and somebody is missing you. Let's see how you view the situation, the Hierophant. All right, so you know, the way you're viewing things is that you want stability. This is Taurus. This is the energy of a traditional relationship up to and including marriage. It can also mean that you really have a need and a desire for someone who is very traditional. Libra, two of air, right now you are bothered by something, something that you would rather not have to think about. The page of fire shows it in your heart space. You have this longing for someone. We see the ace of earth, a new beginning, a new offer is coming in. I don't think that you see that because we have the two of air. You're not even looking in that direction. In fact, you're looking away, okay? Oh, I like this energy. I think you're in for a good surprise. All right, so let's see what we have as a hidden energy for you. The Nine of Coin. Okay, so you're doing really well on your own. You know, what we see here is somebody who's very comfortable, very Libra in energy in that this is a person who has a beautiful home, who feels very comfortable in their own skin. They dress beautifully. It's Virgo energy, but Virgo energy is very much about making things perfect. So you look good, you feel good. You know, people think very well of you. They feel as though you're very successful. You really don't flaunt anything, though. You don't take much for granted, Libra. All right, so let's see what Spirit is advising you for this week. It just looks like you're in the period of in-between. Okay. The Ace of Air. Spirit is saying that you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You want total clarity. That's what Spirit is advising for you, is that you gain clarity over something. So let's see what the outcome card is for you at this time. And then we're going to clarify, of course. Let's see what energy we have here. We have two cards that popped out. Six of air, you're moving from a turbulent time into better times and a new offer is coming in for you. You have two aces, ace of earth and ace of fire. So someone wants to come in and make an offer to you. So I have a table shot. I have two shots here, the face shot and the table shot. As I clarify, I'm going to put the table shot on for you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's see what we have. There you go, okay. So let's see what we have here, Libra. We have the Eight of Earth. Why is the Eight of Earth here for our Libra friends for their love life? Why is the Eight of Earth here? The Sun card. You're learning how to be happy on your own. Not that you don't know because you do, but it's also starting to feel very comfortable in your own skin, feeling as though you deserve happiness. I feel as though the situation that you've had, the person that you're longing for, you're trying to learn more about them. You're trying to figure out what they're doing, what they're up to. You really miss them. What else? Why else do we have the Eight of Earth? The Eight of Earth is apprentice energy journeyman becoming an expert in something. So we have that you want to become an expert when we put the eight of coins with the one, one coin as nine of coins. So for many of you, you may be expanding your career right now. You're finding great happiness, enjoy in that career. Look at this energy. You are ready for a new adventure. So many of you are at a crossroads. We get the two of wands energy. When you look at this energy closely, there's a globe. It's 
a parting of the road. You must choose a path, go right or go left. We see this card of her looking out the window. The globe is here. She has to make a choice. She is really leaning in the way, you know, in the direction of going surfing, having an adventure, having something fun, getting away from old expectations of what relationships may bring to you in terms of your happiness, and really learning to give all that you used to gain from relationships within your own life, you know, really learning to be happy and single and being very content with that. You feel somehow that that's very important to your stability right now. The Hierophant card is something that you view, you view life as very important. You have released somebody who wants to come in. We have Cancerian energy. So the Judgment card says that you have released. That is Scorpio energy, Cancerian energy. So you know, you really do, you do want to be with a partner, but you want to be with the right partner. For many of you, you have moved forward out of a marriage because the Hierophant card is traditional marriage, the judgment of divorce, the judgment card is usually the judgment of divorce and you're moving rapidly for your happiness. Why do we have the two of air here for the way people view you as not really being open at this time? Okay, Libra Queen, there you are in your reading. Look at you. So when we look at the two of air, that's also Libra energy. So it really says that what we're seeing for you, Libra, is you really are not very tolerant right now. You want what you want. You know that you're very grounded. You know that your, your expectations are very realistic and they're very attainable. Just because you didn't have them in the past, what we're seeing is that you're making adjustments in your life so that you can have them in the future. Now, when we get the page of fire here, you know, it looks like somebody who might be younger than yourself is looking to make an offer. And we also have the Ace of Fire, so it does look like an offer is coming in. I do think you know of this person. You may have met them online. But it looks like somebody that you're trying to meet with whom you could have a new adventure. The Six of Swords tells me that your person is also moving away from from a difficult time in their lives. So both of you could be on the rebound, something to be careful about. Six of air, six of air, but this is also your energy. You're moving away from trouble into a more passionate time. Uh, a person of interest in their heart space is moving away from trouble into a more grounded energy. Okay, so what do we have here with this Ace of Earth? We have somebody who wants a passionate new beginning. This is Capricorn energy, the devil card. This person is very bent on having a very sexy, romantic time with you. This could also relate to, you know, you're turning the globe, spinning the globe and looking at a new adventure. And that is a two of wands. So you might be open to dating more than one person. You may have long for one person and yet you're going to move on with your life. And so now we have this, this beautiful, handsome um, person here. The Knight of Cups coming in very romantically. Pisces energy. Somebody who wants to make love all night long. Somebody with whom you find very desirable. But I will, I will warn you that this person who's coming in could try to use love bombing or love making as a way to win a position in your life and maybe a commitment that they haven't quite earned. So be careful of this energy, okay? Just be careful of it as you move forward. It will be toxic because this person looks like they're a very good lover. They know how to get a partner hooked from the physical aspects of love. So, and they know how to be very romantic. Okay, so the Nine of Coins speaks to where you're at. Oh, good. You are not having it. The Five of Swords, you, you see that energy for what it is. I also think this could, for some of you, represent the person that you miss who may return. All right, so there's a couple of layers to the story here. But we have the Five of Swords, but it was reversed, so you're not having any conflict. You're not willing to have conflict or drama for any reason. You're not willing to have toxicity. Here you are, the Libra Queen. You will cut whatever doesn't serve you out of your life. 
The Ace of Air. What is Spirit telling you about clarity? What is the message of clarity here for our Libra friends? What is the message of clarity for Libra? There we go. Ooh, somebody's spying on you. So really what this is telling you is to really look for the truth. So if you've met somebody online, what Spirit is actually saying is that you truly should spend time looking at their social media, um, if this person will not permit you to be on their social media, then that would be a red flag, okay? You're looking for enlightenment. This is a time of study to really make sure you know what you're getting into before you jump into this devil energy with someone. Okay, so the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here for you? Why are you having to move away from a difficult time? What is going on? magician card so you are moving forward i like this energy for you libra this is beautiful it really says this is gemini and virgo energy this is virgo energy so for many of you you may have virgo in your chart either mercury or venus is possible as well as a possibility of a moon or some other planet but what we're seeing here is that you really want to ma manifest something in the future so you don't want necessarily to go back to the past let's see why your person is manifesting the six of air the six of swords why is your person this is the same card for a person of interest that you have as well as yourself and your outcome so why is the six of swords here this person's holding back. Why are you, what's, what does this mean for you? What does the Six of Air mean for you? Uh, you're moving away from a possible third party situation. Yep, okay, with somebody you might have met at work. Okay, so it does appear for some of you that you are simply in a breakup mode from somebody you met at work, somebody who was married, Somebody who may be releasing a marriage and coming to you. But we have the Two of Cups as your energy coming in, as your outcome, Libra. So let's take a look at the Oracle cards to see what we have for the Oracles. So I'm going to, we're going to clarify this some more. Because what I'm seeing is that you did meet somebody at work who made an offer. You enjoyed this person. You perceived them as very sexy and fun. Sun card. The six of water. You've been missing them. You want a new beginning with them. They have to release something to get out of the third party situation instead of you being divorced. Well, one, it doesn't matter. It can be vice versa, right? So one of you appears to have been married. There's a release of a marriage, and there's a new beginning. You're not willing to put up with anything that doesn't really serve you. You're making good choices, so no matter how this is playing out, you are being very self-protective, and you are being very smart. Look at this, a caring connection. I would say that you and your partner may be obsessed with each other. Now, the devil energy doesn't have to mean anything horrific. I had someone ask me in a live the other day why the devil, the devil card always pops up for them. And it usually means that there's either sort of an obsessive quality to your relationship, which is kind of common, right? Uh, especially a physical connection, but it's also emotional. The reason is, it's usually, it's you're obsessed with the person just physically, like you can't let them go. It's a dark side of the soulmate energy. It also means usually that one person in the relationship is taking more and giving less. Now, this also means somebody wants to be in control. It's often a card that indicates that the most controlling person in the relationship will accuse the person who's not so controlling of trying to be in control. I know that sounds really like double talk, but as a professional reader for 13 years online, that's the most common meaning of it.
It just means like somebody says, well, I can only see you on Wednesdays and only at 3 o'clock. And you say, well, but I'm not available at 3 o'clock on Wednesday. And they say, well, I don't know what to tell you. That's all I have. So it does show somebody who's a bit manipulative here. And that is the other person, okay? It's not you. It's not your energy. So, and it, and it also can be a realistic, um, sometimes people work two jobs, which is also Capricorn career, you know, a situation in which they can't control. Victory, oh my gosh. Okay, ver so we have Libra. Here we have the Oracle cards. Caring connection, door to romance, and victory. Look at this. So you do have a victory and love coming in here. So, you know, these energies are very interesting because you really are not willing to put up with much. I'm going to go to the extended on this and we're going to dig into the past, the present, the future. We're going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you uh, and, and look at the outcome much more closely here. Um, so what we have is what we have is a beautiful love story that is unfolding. It looks like it's fairly new. Um, if it's not fairly new, it's new to someone becoming single because of the three of swords reversed with the judgment card. So somebody is becoming single, you might not even know that yet. That might be what the universe is telling you to do with this, you know, pay attention to social media, there may be a status change. So let's go over to the extended if this resonates with you. And if not, please like, subscribe, share if you like the reading. And uh, sending you love from Chicago. Hope to see you in a live soon. I answer questions. Take care, Libra. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.